Well, hello and welcome back to Chrono Cross. I am bringing with me Lena and Kid for no real good reasons other than the fact that I'm getting sick of looking at Fargo's face. And I've got everybody equipped with everything. Um, there's really not much to say here. I guess I could probably give Lena a cure or two if I really wanted to. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter pretty much all that much. Oh, I used up all my cures. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Nothing really to say here. Let's go. Let's get in here. Let's do this. I get bored of using the same characters over and over again. I don't know. It's probably just me, but I hate it. The ochre lands have dried up and withered. Is it your will to choose destruction? All right, we've got the first of many boss battles in this area. I hope you're ready for this. There's nothing here that I want to steal, so I'm not too worried about that. I think it's got a yellow brooch and an earth charm, so if that's like something you're super into, uh, you should get that. Now, these battles all work pretty much the same way. It's going to use a whole bunch of yellow elements in order to get the field effect to yellow, and then it's going to be a jerk about it. So we're going to break up the field effect with pretty much whatever we've got. I want to use Diminish because they will use some pretty nasty skills. Lena's not the greatest choice when it comes to physical damage, but she's, she's fine. It's okay. I believe... I believe that this guy will use Golem, I think, but I have yet to be able to influence him to actually do that. So instead of worrying about it, we're just gonna go full speed ahead. I kind of wanted to use Kid because we haven't seen her since everything happened and uh, yeah. Okay, so he's gonna use these capsules to make that field effect yellow. And yeah, you don't get the choice to break it up either. Kind of annoying thinking about it. Uh, let's see. Let's actually go back a little bit. Let's use, um, let's use carnivore. Sure. It doesn't really matter. Just do some damage. Really, we're going to be going with physical attacks here to do the majority of our damage and just use our elements to break up Field effect. Okay, Omega Yellow is yellow is the one of the big attacks that it can do. It doesn't really matter, and we should be really, really close to being finished with this battle. I think most of these bosses only have about two thousand hit points, so you should be okay if you use the normal diminish and everything on them. If you're having real trouble, uh, I think, what is it, negate magic? The magic negate? That would probably help. I did also want to take Lena with us because she is, well, I wanted to bring a blue character so we could use the cure all uh, element, which I did bring on her. I do want to heal up this round. Oh, we won. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Ooh, vibrating. So we did really well there. Nice. Glad we got that finishing music. Uh, we get a star and everybody levels up. Uh, I don't think we need... Yeah, okay, no, we're good. And we get the yellow field. I have nothing else to say about that battle. Let's move on. Okay, so the first thing I actually do want to do is push this down. Fall. Please. There we go. And let's fight these new uh, enemies that we've got here. I will be clearing out pretty much everybody that we come across. Ooh, bubbles. Uh, let's see. We've got the Terra Terror and the... Cytoplasm. I think those are just little water bubbles, I'm guessing. I, I was just, I don't know what to call them. Okay, that's, that's fine. Let's get some damage in here. Um, that was not 
That was not useful for that miss. I could have really used you to hit. I think these guys are blue elemental. That's nice. That was um that was a ton of damage now, wasn't it? I was doing fine earlier, but apparently this time we just get to miss a lot. This is something that I've noticed that happens, and I honestly don't know like what the luck is that I have, like me as a person. I think it's lower when I start recording. No, they were, not, we're taking basically no damage, which is fine. Did it heal itself? I don't, I don't know what happened there. Let's go ahead and use a holy light and see if we can't uh, damage them. The middle guy's actually sagging because they don't have a ton of hit points, so... Oh, we healed it. I didn't realize that that would heal it. Okay, well, um... Come on, kid. Let's... Let's try that again. Maybe if we use something else on them? Wait, why did we switch to... Okay, whatever. Oh, kid is uh, frenzied, I think is the right term for this. These battles aren't that hard. I'm not sure why I'm doing terribly here. Um, and Surge is... Uh, I don't know what the skill name is off the... Or the element name off the top of my head. That little white is like... Uh, it's not blue. Can you not hit Lena? Thanks. <laughs> I can't... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to actually miss. Okay, there we go. Exhaust. That's the term I was looking for. Okay, got a nice little level up there. Healed up. Really nothing of interest that I care about. I'm gonna go around to the left here on this circular platform before we move on. Because we've got the first of many, which is the uh, Nostrum there. I don't remember what that does. What does that do? I don't recall. Um... Ah, recovers hit points large. Okay, so it's a healing item. We could definitely equip those. I don't like we're gonna be doing anything else with them. Uh, if we go up top here, we actually can't go any further. So we do need to head down here and cross that pillar. Let's take this guy out first. For the record, the Terra Terrors are uh, basically, a, like, if you use Surge, um, you can pretty much take them out completely. Let me take out the next two enemies here. Okay, cleared out this area. There's four enemies, or there was four enemies for me. We just, I just went all the way down and then I went all the way back up so I can show you um, what we're dealing with here. First things first, there is an item over there that we can't currently get. So don't worry too much about that. There also appears to be something to the right that we can't get to. I think that's just pretty much how this area is. It's, it's very um, disconnected. So we've got a couple things we can do here. Um, oh, we have another enemy down here. Huh. Honestly, these guys are not that difficult. So there's a couple things here. First of all, we've got this one on the right here. I just want to show off where this goes. We've got a Nostrum over here. And we could, in fact, mm, let me clear out the guys that are up here on this red thing real quick. Okay, cleared out all the guys that were up here. Let me head back upstairs because I want to show you guys what's up to the other side. We do have some guys down in the water, but nothing nothing of interest so hey look like we could totally go this way um and we could actually come down here hang on there's there's more to this don't worry now if we go down this side it leads us here to here to this little thing that leads us down to the water but we could also jump in the water i'm not sure entirely where this water is going uh, can we let me in please we yeah and this actually leads us down here. I just wanted to show off all of the possible ways that we could get down here. Um, there's two guys in the water, I think. Let me take them out. Okay, I think I cleared out all the enemies here. 
Uh, yeah, looks like I did. Okay, so there's really only one direction that we can go. Uh, if you climb down or if you fall down, you're just going to head... You're going to get stuck on the coral. <laughs> and you can see that if you look to the right or to the left, there's really no... Like, there's no doors anywhere. Um, and you can't go over here. So, you want to climb on this side. Head on up here. Go around. Come up and then back through here. It's a lot easier if you just take the stairway down, but um, this is the direction you want to go. You want to go into this hole. It's not a doorway, it's a hole. We got some new enemies here. I'm going to clear one with you guys and then I'm going to show you them, or just finish them off. I'm going to show them off and then I'm going to just take care of everybody. These are creepy. These guys are the, I'm not even entirely sure what they are, <laughs> to be honest with you. Wow, Surge, can you not do this to me right now? I don't know if these guys have anything in particular that's like super interesting. Thinking about it. That one's already sagging, by the way. They're gonna use a meteorite on us. That's not great. Well, a whole zero points of damage. Yeah, not really concerned. I wouldn't say that we're necessarily over leveled, but we did level as appropriate and we're wearing stone armor. So we're, we're doing great, actually. I got an angel charm from that. Okay, um, I think those things often drop angel charms. Let me go ahead and just climb down, clear out all the enemies, and then we will probably discuss what's going on here. Um, you can't cross here. This takes you down this, like, past everything. You have to work your way back up, just as a heads up. Let's see. Is there any guys down here? I don't think... Now there's no guys up here. I think there's two more here. Oh good, and they're in the same area. Let me go ahead and finish these guys up. Oh hey, we actually do have a new enemy here. We've got the Woot. <laughs> I forgot about the Woots. You don't see them very often, uh, to be honest. In fact, I want to say the last time I went through here on my own playthrough, I didn't even see the- Were you kidding me? I didn't even see one of these guys. I don't know if it's like a low spawning level or if the game just wanted to- I don't know what the game was doing. It wasn't showing me a woot, that's for sure. What makes it a woot, anyway? Alright, let's go ahead and let's get... I'm gonna do a deluge because Lena is blue, so that should do more damage. Okay, everybody's already sagging. That's good news for us. Oh, goodbye. Okay, so basically what it's doing is setting itself up so that when we will not be able to do any sort of uh, physical attacks to it, which would make sense because we're doing a lot of well, physical attacks. Let me go ahead and just do an Inferno. Again, Kid is red, so Inferno should do more damage, and that should actually take care of that loot, I think. It's kind of sagging. Oh, I took care of both of them. So there you go. That is... Oh, oh, that's a woot. <laughs> oh, we get three angel charms from that. Okay. Well, we really didn't have to go anywhere. Because that's good. Let's go ahead and go with this chest. Hmm? Guys? That's probably not good. Yeah, you fall down here. You have to do this. So don't really worry about it. And you fall down here. Okay. Well, the only way to go was up. Surge. Surge. Are we talking to the thing? You finally made it this far, Surge. What was that? Are you human? When I was still human, I was locked up here and I have been here ever since. Are you the statue? This tower is a fortress belonging to the ancient reptites, a symbol of revenge brought against mankind by the dragons. Hmm. With the defeat of fate, the seal has been broken and this tower has surfaced. In the eyes of the dragons, we humans are the foes. A brain that has developed to three times its original size in the span of three million years. 
We humans have evolved at an enormous rate because of our contact with Lavos's flame. In a sense, mankind is Lavos's 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 offspring. That's a hard one to say. We humans are ex extraneous to this planet. Now, how will you fight, Surge? I don't know how to answer that question, but I assume it will be with my sword. I'm not entirely certain why we even had to ask that question. Like, why are we, why are we still having this discussion of like, like what we are? I, I'm not entirely certain. Um, I do want to fight everything here, but I'm going to avoid it for a moment. I believe if we head down here, no, oh, there's the door. Where's the, there's a chest in here and I want to get the chest. Oh no, it looks like we do have to head down. Okay, let me take out the enemies real quick here so I can look at my map because this one is a confusing one. Okay, so I just wanted to climb all the way back so that I can show you guys how to get to places in this freaking area. This one's actually kind of confusing to be honest. Oh, come on. I hate the climbing mechanic sometimes because it's hard to tell exactly where you need to be to climb and you can kind of get stuck in like a, where is it? And which direction do I need to be pushing? But anyway, there's a door down there. There's a door up here, but more importantly, there's an item over here. So if you just kind of walk, like kind of push upwards, uh, you can get to it. You can get the Defender Plus there. Um, really don't have much to say about that other than I wanted to make sure I grabbed it. Uh, can you climb down, please? This one, that one right there and this one right here are super frustrating, by the way. Now, if we come in through here, we get the Pack of Lies. Now, this is actually a weapon um, for Sneff, of all people. Uh, yeah, Sneef, Sneff. Anyway, he usually uses the private deck, but this is where you get the Pack of Lies. Yeah, so it's better. I don't think I'm ever gonna use him. Um, I could. I actually have considered it, but I have chosen so far not to. Okay, but with all of that, let's head back up here. And figure our way around this. I hate these weird walkways. It's confusing. It's not fun. Okay, so the quick way, obviously, is just to climb right up here. And we wanna head under here and grab this item. Now there's a whole bunch of these ghosty guys in here, so let me just clear them. Okay, all the enemies are cleared, so let's go ahead and just climb up. This isn't a very hard climb or anything, but there is one thing that we do wanna do as we get a little higher. Come on, climb. So if we head over to the right here, you will see that there is in fact a door there that we can't quite get to. And this may not be completely obvious, but you just wanna drop down. Weird, right? You can't really tell that that's something that you can do. And if you come out here, remember that chest from the very beginning? Yep, there it is. We get the beta curti, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, but here's what it is. If you go into your equipment, it is for Janus, and it is actually the carrot upgrade. <laughs> uh, it's with rainbow shell, apparently. So voila, we have two new weapons for our allies that I don't think we can craft those either. I think you actually do need to find them because they are special. Like she's got a carrot. I don't really know what else to do with that information because she's a rabbit. That's why she has a carrot. But in any case, let's go ahead and head on up to get to the next area. Let's see. This is a little bit of a long, it's a little bit of a long walk, isn't it? A little bit of a long climb. Um, can you, thank you. Okay, and um, if we head across the way, we do have, I think, a couple enemies here. Let me clear them. Crime, I need that took a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead. You want to actually push these down like you did prior to this. Boink. And now we can actually get across. Yeah, we had to go all the way back. This is actually probably a really good time if you... Oh, hi. Um, can I just walk past you? Thanks. Uh, this is actually a really, really good time to save actually. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna go save and I will, I'm trying to debate whether, I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, but let me save and then 
Um, we'll meet, I'll meet you back inside. Well, that actually makes my job a lot easier now that I know how much time I have left. Yeah, we have plenty of time in this episode to go do a couple more bosses, or at least one more boss. Maybe some other enemies. But now that we have got those two pillars down, all you gotta do is head back up and you can head on in. Yeah, not even a problem. I like how that makes it a little bit easier and you do get a chance to save. It could have put a save point in there, but I don't think it was real necessary. And uh, we have some new enemies here, so let's... I'm gonna try to fight them if they don't run away from me. I guess I should say sort of quiet. We've got the cute cupoids. Yeah, you can hear the weird bell noise in the background. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me switch, or let me use an element here. I'm gonna go with an Ultra Nova on these guys. I don't think it's gonna kill them, but it should do quite a bit of damage. I'm not entirely sure what the cupoids will use against you. Uh, for the most part, they don't generally get to do much. Oh, a slash hall, who cares? And yeah, this battle, or this, this attack isn't even too bad. It's very fancy, but it's not all that bad. 28 points of damage, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we do have a full white field effect. Um, that's not great. Let's go ahead and do, um, Let's do an earthquake. Break that up. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal, to be honest, if like we used a holy light or something. We do some of that extra damage. It'd probably be useful. But honestly, I don't think it's that big of a deal here. And this will probably almost finish the battle. The cue point is currently sagging, so not a big deal. We do, of course, get the victory music, which is totally worth it. Okay, but with that, I'm going to avoid the cupoids here for a second because I do want to clear them out. If you head up to the right here, we go head up to the next boss battle, but I want to head up this direction first. I want to take this item here, which is the heal plus, I believe. Um, I think there's only one of those. Let's see, uh, healing first. The heal plus is green only, uh, which we don't currently have anybody in the party that's green only and recovers HP. So we've actually got uh, the holy healing for white, the heal plus for green and the cure all for blue. Very cool. Let me clear out the rest of these cupoids and then um, we'll move on to the boss. Okay, so we've cleared out everybody on this side, but we do have a boss here. Now, here's how I wanna roll this, because I do have Lena with us and she's pretty freaking useless uh, when it comes to a, like red element critters, which we're gonna be fighting. Uh, I'm gonna give her the red plate. You can give this to Surge, really doesn't matter. It's however you wanna roll it. We got the red plate from the red dragon earlier, and this will basically make her invulnerable to this entire battle, which will be really, really useful. I also want to allocate, who do I wanna give this to? Uh, let's see, in our traps somewhere around here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this. I'm gonna to attempt to, I think I do have uh, four red wolf traps and um we can actually get red wolf from the upcoming battle uh, sure we'll replace that we'll go ahead and have surge cast it right at the beginning and we'll see if we can't get the um can't get it many have bled suffered and perished it is your turn to die now it is i think Enemies also have to do, like, have a full red field in order to cast red elements like that. So let's go ahead and let's build up. Uh, oh, I didn't check. This is the Pyrotor, Pyrotor, I think. So the way this goes is you use Sadness. He's going to attack after this, by the way. Let me go ahead and, um, that is not great news. Are you kidding me right now, Surge? I'm gonna go ahead and just do some damage. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, can I get you to use a diminish? I'm gonna have Lena use the diminish this time, it looks like. That will essentially solve the element problem that uh, he will bring. Uh, let me actually switch over to Surge. I would love to cast that element, Surge. We're gonna get in a fight is what's gonna happen here. Let me go ahead and just have Lena smack him one. And then let's switch over to search to get that last element. Okay, I wanna do the red wolf. I don't know if we'll be able to get, like I said, I don't know if we'll be able to get him to cast it, but we're gonna try anyway. So he's gonna use Omega Red here. Really like to cast that on Lena, but we're just gonna do what we gotta do here. I'm gonna defend. He's gonna use Fireball. If we lose Surge, or if we lose anybody, we lose people. We'll just re-summon them. We'll revive them, it won't be a problem. That's why I got Lena with us. Um, let me go ahead and just continue defending. There it is! It's mine now. Just stuck that red wolf in a bottle like a genie. Ha! Now, we do have a fun problem here because he's using 99. That's not great. I don't remember exactly what 99 does, but we're we're kind of in trouble now. So, first things first, let's go ahead and smack. We need to break up the element. So, let's do that. Um, let's go ahead and use a cure all. That will split up the element field, which would be really good right about now because he's going to be going all out with his attacks and we're, we're not, we're gonna be feeling it. It's not gonna be good. You can easily defeat him prior to this. I have definitely done plenty of damage. That was what 99 does, by the way. Okay, let's go ahead. Do you have a revive on you or do I need to switch over to Surge? I think I need to switch over to Surge. Let me do that. Okay, he's gonna now use three tablets to build back up that element power. Now, this is not even the worst, by the way. He can definitely screw us over. So let's go ahead, I wanna get that element power. Nice amount of damage, by the way. And let's use revive. Now, real quick here, uh, before anybody says anything, it doesn't matter who he would have hit, after that 99, he would have taken it, taken them down. Period. End of story. Um, so it's not a Lena thing. It's just that's how this game works. Okay. So at this point, we really need to take him out if we can. So he's going to use Volcano. Okay, good. Volcano is actually not a bad one. Not great, but not bad. And that should actually heal Lena up. Give me a chance to actually go. That would be nice. Let's go ahead and um, win. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. I, I prefer that. that uh, it's actually that's great. But I did want to get the red wolf. That is a stronger. I think salamander is element level seven. I think red wolf is eight. And we leveled up. Hooray! Okay, let me check on that. I am pretty sure it is eight when Salamander is seven. Uh, let's do an attack first. Oh, it is seven. What is, let's see, do we have Salamander equipped anywhere on this? Salamander's eight. So um, Red Wolf is seven and we, we, we got it. So, so there. Let me go ahead and take this guy out and then we'll go into the next area. Okay, let's go ahead and get moving here. I think we've got a few more areas and some story coming up. This is going to be a little bit of a longer episode. Okay, cleared out all of the enemies because there's so many cupids in this area. 
Now, we want to get all the chests, of course, so let's go ahead and do that first thing. Uh, let's drop down here. We've got a rainbow shell, another one. What are we up to? We have... Let's see, how many do we have at this point? Um, 15 of them, actually. So that's, that's not too bad. We got another chest up there. Also, um, you might be able to hear like voices or something in the music. It's kind of strange. I don't entirely know <laughs> what's going on here, but it's creepy. The music, the ambiance is creepy. I know what's going on in game. I, I mean, that's not it. Spectral glove. Yeah, so the spectral glove, I think that is a glove for, <laughs> I mean, take your pick on whoever the glove users are. I think Mickey is one of them. Uh, the spectral glove is definitely a rainbow shell one, so you could keep that if you want. You could break it apart to get the. I think you can break it apart to get the rainbow shell, um, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. Okay, let's see here. We have a whole bunch of enemies here that I want to clear, so let me do that. As you can see, all the floaty guys, and I'll just meet you at the end of this. Okay, all the enemies killed here, so let's go ahead and just run in. First thing I actually want to do is go straight up because we have an en uh, rainbow shell up here. Not an enemy. <laughs> what even? Uh, as you can see, there's only certain locations that you can go due to the fact that everything's falling in. We get a holy healing over there. That's kind of nice. Another one for Surge. Oh, this is weird. Could this be Viper Manor? What's going on? All right, let's go ahead and just, uh, let's go find out what's going on. A little laggy here, but it's, it's not me. Welcome, it's good to see you finally made it here. I have been expecting you, Surge. Where are we? Is this Viper Manor? This is a space that does not exist, but never mind that. More importantly, I have something to- I must explain to you. Story time. Who are you? My name is Balthazar. In the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, I was known as a sage of reason. Well, that was up until the Queen of Zeal attempted to harvest- harness the power of Lavos. Let's just say things got out of control and Lavos created a dimensional vortex that threw me far into the future. There, I seized the opportunity to study the science of the future. I was then able to apply that knowledge, the knowledge I brought from my own era, including magic, which had been long since lost in the future. Anyway, this place led me to make huge progress in the research of time. Well, that research led to the creation of Chronopolis and to the time crash. You might think I really blew it. Perhaps it was really my finest hour. Ho, ho, ho. Anyway, I created a compact time machine that I dubbed the Neo Epoch. Epoch? I used it to time warp to this age to learn of Chronopolis and fate's plans and to see how things were turning out. Terra Tower is really, really, really a city of the reptites from another dimension's future. It was originally Dinopolis, the castle of Azela's descendants who achieved a much more intimate evolution with our planet. Dinopolis was drawn into this dimension dimensions past about 10,000 years ago. This was done so that it would serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos pulled here. Needless to say, a fierce battle ensued. In the end, Chronopolis emerged as the victor and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate. More important now is the role the dragons play in all this. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. This was because it was where the dragon gods resided. But then fate sealed away the dragon god's powers in effect becoming a god itself. Thus the islands were where the new godhead fate existed came to be called the Sea of Eden instead. Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the dragon gods to eliminate fate. 
it was not true that the dragon god sealed away the frozen flame. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal away the dragon gods. In reality, the dragon gods are in opposition to man, while fate was actually the protector of humanity. The dragon gods were originally a singular plasma life form, a living ac accumulation of the planet's energy. That life form was a biological machine used to control the powers of nature in the future society of the reptites. In order to control the natural energy itself, fate divided the one dragon god entity up into six weaker plasma life forms. It then scattered them across the land and sealed them away. Their dragon-like appearances are just pseudo guises, temporary forms they take so that they can appear in this dimension. But all that changed when fate was vanquished and its power hold was eliminated. At that moment, the seven dragons, who had been rendered almost powerless and forgotten, traveled across the dimensions to recombine into a single entity. Seven dragons? I thought there were only six. There were six dragons you knew of, and one more hidden dragon you didn't. Like the second moon that was once lost and later found. Although the same planet, my world didn't have two moons. Look up at the night sky now and you will see seven celestial bodies, five stars, and two moons. Five brother stars that correspond to the five colored dragons ruling like gods over the night skies. One moon that corresponds to the white dragon and another darker daughter moon to counterbalance them. The fire dragon, the water dragon, the green dragon, the earth dragon, the black dragon, the sky dragon, and one more. The final dragon, the dark moon dragon, the one who was at to work to free the other dragons from their bondage to the fate computer. The child the others created on the night of the electric storm that temporarily caused fate to loosen its hold on them. I believe you knew her as Harley. Unbelievable. The dragon gods were the essence of nature on this planet. Perhaps we can consider what's happening as our planet's vengeance on us to finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the face of this blue planet. First it was fate, now it's the planet. Or vice versa, but either way you look at it, now's the time to set things right. The future of mankind, the destiny of this planet, everything depends on the next battle you will fight. But unfortunately, the time for us to part has come. Hey mister, is that the Chrono Cross you guys have there? Chrono Cross, the melody and harmony. It has the power to cross space and time and unify people's thoughts and feelings. It has the power to transfer memories. By using it as an element, it has the power to draw on the sounds of the six colored elements to produce a healing harmony. It has the power to combine the sounds of the world into one melody. I'm sure we'll meet again soon, in one time period or another. Be careful now, and good luck. Okay, that was an absolute ton of information that um, we kind of already knew, but I think they're trying to... Um, tell us again, hey, we are gonna be fighting the dragons, the whatever, however you want to, you know, go about it. We're gonna go ahead and climb the ladder here and get, can I, can I get this? Thank you. Let me get a black hole up here. But yeah, we did learn that Harley is the seventh dragon and was basically built to, or created to free the other six dragons which is really bad for us but that's why she was with us and why we were um why she was kind of convincing us to do the things that we did unfortunately i kind of get the feeling that she didn't want to yeah door behind us is closed this is how you get to the next area well this is cool well before we go into the next area here. Go ahead and go to the left. There is a stairway here that we want to go down. It's kind of hard to see. This feels weird, by the way. There's something odd about that. Like, you're walking on the wall, I think. And uh, it's a bit odd to do so. And even it feels weird on the controller because 
what you think you're gonna be doing is not what you end up doing. You get an ultra nova there, and then you just come back around and head back up. Yeah, it just feels um, almost like you need to push like less to get up the wall. I don't know how to explain it any more than that. All right, well, next time we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fight this boss, so I will see you guys then.